number one, you, you'll notice that these are in position as number one, the buyer helps. And that means the buyer is going to help get that deal. Uh, so they can find opportunities by driving around any area they would consider living in and bringing possibilities to you. Explain that the easiest for you to buy at a, the easiest is for you to buy at a value price and will not look in perfect condition. So in other words, in order for us to buy at a value price, the property is probably not gonna be in perfect condition. So you're giving them some frameworks, understandings and parameters to work from before they go about finding a property because anybody can drive down the street and see a realtor sign and say, oh, that's a beautiful home. I'd love to own that home. Well, what's the likelihood that you're gonna buy that at a discount? It's not impossible, I certainly have, but the likelihood is much less than it would be if the house is in need of love, tender, loving care. So uh, look, you instruct them to look for for sale by owners, look for tarps on the roof, look for vacant properties, and that's indicated by newspapers in the driveway, the, the yard needs mowing, gutters falling off, et cetera. Some kind of indicator. And then definitely talking with the neighbors, finding out if who the owner of that property is so that they can bring you some recon on that property if, if they have any. And then you can go about doing the searches that we provide to you through your websites. We've got all kinds of great tools using your website but first things first, we've got to have an address to look up. So that's, that's number one. The first instruction that we give to anyone that joins the membership is you can help us find a property for you. So not only can we go on the MLS and look for a property that might be undervalued, like Rob was just uh, sharing earlier about the house that he found that was on the MLS, it was undervalued on the MLS. Then once he got into the property, actually got a reduction on the price, on the list price. So that was a great opportunity. He's buying it for 130,000, selling it for, or the value is 200,000. So that sounds like it's got a really nice spread in there. And, uh, and so that's an indication of what you can do to find a property for someone. But that's the MLS. Now I'm going to give you my other tips on finding, and these are 10 different tips that don't include the MLS. 